Oh, really? This is my water. Can I have a sip? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Mmm, that's good. Thank you. Yeah, I'll have some more. Yeah, I'll have some more. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I dropped. I dropped the wawa. Well, well, I'm sorry. I'll put it. I'll put it in the sink for you. Okay. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today's vlog. Um, what? Yeah, you can cook for me. It's been a morning. I have been struggling with patience to say the least. Um, not proud of it, but it's been a rough few days, I would say. Um, thank you. Lila's been waking up earlier, way earlier than usual, like 6 a.m., bright and early when the sun rises. She usually sleeps in till like seven or so, so I normally have an hour before she wakes up, but I've been missing out on that time to just chill before she wakes up, so I'm um, struggling with getting the day rolling and feeling like good mentally. Um, I just, I don't feel good. I don't feel like myself. Yeah, you got your wawa. You should take a sip. There you go. Good job. Put it up here. Okay. Today, I'm focusing all on my mental health. I got ready, even though we're just going on a walk and that helped me a lot. So, God bless you. So we're headed outside right now and um, it's really hot outside and I got my jeans on. So we'll see how this goes. But Lila is pretty reckless right now so it's gonna be good for the both of us did you get a mosquito bite that like doesn't even look Lila, let me see it has anyone ever seen a mosquito bite like this before oh my goodness that thing is huge clean up clean up everybody everywhere clean up clean up come on Lila do your share Share. Yeah. Yay, high five. We need a few more. Hello. <laughs> to share with you guys how I kind of work through things that I'm going through right now um, I've been praying a lot and I think that's just helped me in general but processing is something that I have to do um, because I overthink a lot and I think that a lot of people can relate to that like processing what you go through 
is what matters the most because that's how we change our actions and change the way that we do things so the way that i do this um is normally i'll ask myself questions and then answer them and normally i find some answers through that i finally come to the realization that this is actually called shadow work and it's really intriguing to me because i've always kind of done this with myself but i never quite knew what i was doing um, if you did want to check out shadow work, there are certain processes to do that really lay out the foundation of shadow work and outline it in a way that's really easy. So there's definitely specifics, but for me, I, um, I started off with a prayer and um, I just talk about what I'm feeling and kind of let that all out. And then I pray and it kind of puts me into like a meditative state in some sense. So um, from there, I get these questions to ask myself. And for this particular time, I actually wrote the questions out before I did the prayer because I feel like I kind of already knew what I wanted to ask myself, like why am I feeling this way sort of question. After the prayer, I'm in like a really calm meditative state and I answer the questions that I ask myself. And I always write it down um, and I wrote it down so I could keep it as a reminder and also see it on paper um like see what i'm going through and then be able to process that and find a solution for feeling this way i think quarantine has been a really big self-reflection for many people and i'm definitely reflecting so much to the point where it is definitely stressful so it's normal and we all have to be slower and more patient and trust the process trust in god our higher being whatever we put in front of ourselves and really um really let things flow so everything aligns the way that it's supposed to that's really how i choose to take things in and process them and do self-work i believe that we do hold all of the answers to what we're feeling inside of us and it's definitely worth doing this work because this has helped me in relationship funks. This has helped me in self-growth. This has helped me process things in motherhood. It's especially helping me right now. And it allows us to know a lot more about ourselves. Um, I think going into shadow work in a meditative state will be the most beneficial way to do it because you're out of your thinking brain and you're more subconscious and more intuitive when your mind isn't on like autopilot trying to work things out in the way we think because the way that we're programmed isn't necessarily for us it's just how we're programmed throughout our life so there could be a lot of unhealthy things going on in our mind when we're doing this type of work so I feel like going into a meditative state and really getting to the core of what we're feeling can really be beneficial in doing these questions, asking yourself these questions, and exploring your shadow side. On days that I feel like this and I'm just really heavy and stressed out and can't really put words to my thoughts, I like to use the day to do things that I want to do, not that I have to do, where I can. And that means I put work to the side for a little while and i love my job i love learning but i think it's important to keep ourselves balanced as possible um especially during a time where we're home so much so i'm using this afternoon to read and i'm not reading about what i typically read about um i actually joined this book exchange on instagram and you basically give a book and then get a bunch of books because it's like a book line it's very interesting it's kind of confusing to break down but if you guys are interested in donating a book to somebody and then receiving a bunch of books please reach out to me either through a comment down below or my instagram um, or even email me and i'll send you guys the information um, so i i received where the crawdads sing and for one more day and it's cool because these are two books that I would have never gotten, I would have never picked out for myself. So I'm going to start these and uh, just enjoy this afternoon.
Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Okay. Blow on your toes. <laughs> Do you like them? <laughs> We just had Chinese and I'm so full. So we're sitting outside and chilling. Um, I think we're gonna get ice cream soon. Like these are the things, like the smallest things together that help me get through a day that's like feeling like a lot. So family time is definitely up there and definitely needed for me to get out of my head and just feel grateful. Thank you. 